back. All right, guys, welcome back. It's Austin from Into Your Thoughts again. Uh, we're going to be going over a couple of cool things today. We're going to be talking about 22 caliber uh, conversion kits or 22 caliber rifles for training. I know uh, times are tough these days. Money is tight for a lot of people. 22 is cheap. So it's uh, you know easy to get into this and be able to train and get a lot of trigger time without having to spend a ton of money on 5.56 or whatever other caliber you wind up shooting. So uh, first thing we're going to do is kind of go over the rifles that I have in front of us first, and then we'll kind of go down into how we're going to use them and what tools and stuff we might need. So starting in the back here, this is my Springfield 2020 Rimfire. It is got a primary arms three to nine on top. So this thing's pretty sweet. It takes Ruger 1022 mags, either the 10 rounders or the 25s. So bolt action rifle threaded barrel up here if you want to put a suppressor on there don't have a 22 caliber suppressor yet but we'll get there um but yeah so something like this in my opinion um been talking to a lot of people who do precision rifle shooting one of the great ways to learn a lot of the fundamentals without having to dump a ton of money into rifles and ammunition is getting it started with a precision 22 and trying to shoot out with several hundred yards with 22 supporting drops wind um, and a lot of that from 22. So going to the other rifle, we're gonna be looking we cut that. This here is my Data Defense um, M4G7. This is, kind of my, this is kind of my general purpose rifle. So this is my, uh, you know, things go south, grab this and go. So we're gonna drop the mag real quick. Make sure it's clear. Okay, so with this guy here, uh, kind of going from the back to the front, I do have a Geisley SSAE trigger in here. I've got an offset Vortex Venom on a 45 degree offset mount. I've got a primary arms one to six here. I'm gonna be swapping that out for a Vortex Viper one to eight here pretty soon. Um, my Surefire light up front, I've got backup irons, and then my Yankee Hill Turbo K suppressor on here with the bipod and the vertical grip. Now, this here is the CMMG 22 conversion kit with the magazine for it. So the cool thing about this is come in 10 or 25 round varieties, depending on where you live and this is where in. This here uh, is the replacement bolt. So we just swap out our bolt carrier in here for this. It does come with a charging handle as well. Sometimes I find with rifles, uh, you do have to use their charging handle. I use my normal one, I have no problem with it. So the way that this works is this inserts into the chamber looking just like a 5.56 cartridge. And then this is your reciprocating bolt that will pick up your rounds and load them in. So to swap that out real quick, all we're gonna do is pop out our pin. Separate that, pull out the old bolt. Slap in the new one. And now we've gone from 5.56 to 22. So with the suppressor and everything else, I've shot a, this thing a bunch. If you watch my other YouTube videos or any of my uh, White Light Wednesday videos, you've seen me shoot this a lot on here. So uh, we're gonna be shooting around a little bit with this today, kind of showing off how quiet it is suppressed, unsuppressed, how well it works, and uh, getting some reps on this. But it's a great way to get into the platform for uh, super cheap. The CMMG uh, bolt with the magazines, I think you get three mags in the bolt for around 200, 250 bucks ish. Uh, prices may have gone up since the last time I looked at that. But again, that's from CMMG. And the cool thing about these again is, especially if you're in an area where um, like California or Washington, where potentially uh, getting a semi-automatic rifle is hard to get nowadays, but you have a AR-15 already and you want to do 22 for training, you can just get these conversion kits. Super simple, nice and easy. All right, guys, so we got a 25 round mag of uh, 22 Thunderbolt. You can see the shorter throw too on the bolt. We got our Yankee Hill Turbo K suppressor, so we're gonna see how nice and quiet this is. Note, these are not subs, by the way. It's just random 22 thrown in here which is why you're still getting a little bit of that crack, but it is a little bit quieter than normal. Yeah, see, so as you can see, 25 rounds, no problems. A lot of people have issues with 22. This conversion kit works super well. We're gonna reload the mag and keep going a little bit more.
So one, so once you've got the uh, CMG bolt in there, one thing you'll notice too is that the much shorter distance the bolt has to travel there, and also generally you won't be able to lock it to the rear, so you do have to hold it open. Now, when you're just using it for training, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just something to keep a note of. So we're gonna load back up again. Again, same ammunition as before. And we're just gonna try shooting a couple targets, see how we do. All right, so we just shot a bunch of rounds off and I wanna show you guys this, just something to keep in mind as you use this as a training tool. So again, the, your zeros and stuff, you gotta, you're gonna keep in mind, like it's gonna be a little off and try to compensate for that. So as an example, aiming here at uh, the A zone, right? With our 22, we are coming in low, right? So kind of aiming bottom half A zone, we do drop down quite a bit. Part of that's gonna be due to the drop that you're gonna experience with 22, especially on the type of ammunition that you're at and the distance that you're shooting. So keep that in mind. Usually I, when I use this, I'm using it more for getting in reps or for shooting steel or something like that to where I'm not incredibly worried about super good accuracy. I'm just trying to get in some reps and making sure I can hit a man-sized target. So if you are going more for precision style stuff, we're gonna do that with the bolt action and kind of get into that a little bit more. But it is something to keep in mind and kind of track the differences whenever you do run these as a 22 versus a 5.56 is that you do have to keep in mind your drops. Going over here, we'll kind of show you again. Shooting at these targets again. So here aiming upper, aiming upper A zone, we're hitting lower A zone, kind of all over the place, right? Doing some more, do the upper A zone or hitting lower A zone. Kind of going over here, we can see though, kind of a tight group that we got with this guy here. So you can get some accuracy out of this. It just depends on what you're doing and keep in mind of those drops again. So kind of using these to show the different targets to show different examples of what this is capable of. Going over here again, similar thing. That again, you're going to be a little off from what you're doing with your 556 if you don't keep in mind what your different, your different drops are. And a lot of that's just gonna come with playing around with it and getting used to it. But as far as being able to see that we did hit a man-sized target, that's plus. Granted, we weren't really that far. We're only about probably 20 yards. So the drop on 22 is significantly more than 556. But for just training, getting reps in and just getting a lot of trigger time down, it's still a great tool. Again, I wouldn't be necessarily using this if you're trying to get you know super accurate headshots or something like that all the time and training for that purpose. Again, I would go back to 556 with your fighting rifle, but for getting trigger time in, doing fun shoots, things like that, it's a nice, cheap, easy way to train. All right, guys, so as I previously mentioned, again, like the AR conversion kit, it's a great tool for training. Again, I'm not get, I'm not gonna say that it's gonna be the best tool for getting like exact accuracy, right? It's gonna be more along the lines of like, can you hit a man-sized target? Um, you know, can you hit steel, things like that? Do you still wanna get some reps in, still be able to hit the target, do your transitions, but do it cheaply. Now with 2020 uh, rimfire here, we are gonna focus a little bit more on accuracy. This is kind of set up for that. We are only at 27 yards. It just happens to be the bay that, that we chose at the range today. It's just the one that's open. So we're gonna make do with what we got. So uh, I've got a sticker down there on the target. We're gonna fire a few rounds and see how we do. All right. And again, we're shooting the uh, Remington 22 Thunderbolt. Probably helps if I have the safety off and I'll round the chamber. All right, let's go check it out. 
<laughs> All right, so you can see my little group here. Uh, so I'm gonna say that it's definitely more me than it is the rifle or anything like that. I'd say it's still a pretty decent group. Uh, we're again, we're around 27 yards ish. Um, yeah, so you can definitely practice more marksmanship and getting into uh, sh shooting more with the 22. The great thing about it as well with something like the 2020 is I actually got that from my son for Christmas. My kid's about eight years old and it's a great way to get uh, the younger generation in or new shooters in because you can be fairly accurate with it and at, at decent distances for 22 you've got a nice bit of magnification it's relatively quiet and you also don't have a ton of recoil so it's another thing to consider as well so again going back to far as training um, if we were at a further distance unfortunately this is just the bay that we chose today uh, we can kind of demonstrate being able to reach out a little bit further that's something we're going to explore a little bit more in this channel as we get further into that and being able to really push that 22 out at further distances and see what we can hit and how far we could push it to kind of gain some fundamentals for precision rifle shooting uh, on the chief so yeah uh, with that today, guys, thanks for joining us for the 22 video, and have a good one.